well, as you can see, I'm going to present with dancers. Uh, my project, well, I'm developing a new instrument for create and choreograph the dance and the music at the same time. And I'm going to try how the dancers react to different sounds. Well, I'm studying sonology and I'm interested how they react to different sounds. What I'm presenting as musical part, it's I didn't want it to create artistic musical, it's just going through different sounds in artistic way, I tried it of course, but just for check how they react. And for the dancers, they are totally different aesthetics. This guy comes from more an academic aesthetic. She comes from a, a really academic but contemporary uh, way to understand the academia. And he's more from the classical way to understand the dance. And yeah, I'm gonna check how they react to different sounds for um, connect my instrument or my, the instrument that I'm developing to this movement. And yeah, also I'm looking for someone, a composer, musician or sonologist who want to try out too, because Ivan cannot do it today. And if someone want to try to just react to different sounds, any volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the, the night, the night. no, no, don't worry, don't worry. I mean, no, it's more important for the dancers. It just was more curiosity for check how one person who really understand the aesthetic of the sounds react to this one. But yeah, if you are not able, don't worry. It's more important the dance part that it's more focused main instrument in this. Okay. Maybe after they warm up a bit, the space someone feels like doing. Okay, if Maybe. someone at the middle want to stand up and start to move, it's totally. He can do it. And also the dancers, they cannot be connected to each other. They're going to dance separately, but they can connect with some of the audience. Then if you see that one dance is coming to you, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't know, just follow what he's doing. OK, perfect. Yeah. <laughs>
was really was curious because I tried by myself the, yesterday and I moved like two meters, two meters and the perception of the space was totally different than my perception of the space and also the, I think that I went to the floor one time and you were more like <laughs> always into the floor than our two different approaches and I want to ask you did you feel it or what? Connected or mostly, uh, there's a differentiation between where the movement initiates. You have the what the sound reminds you of, and maybe like the sound of wind or the sound of rain or uh, fireworks, and that itself initiates some kind of memory or physical movement. And then you have the second initiation, which is to go with the music, regardless of your personal relationship to the, to the sound. So for me, it was more shifting in between those two and keeping in mind. Okay. Oh, of course, this I didn't tell you. I forgot it before. I told to him because the instrument is going to be connected here, 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 and here. And I asked to him to thought about that they're going to have the instrument here something here for develop the music. This was. I have a question. Uh, why are you calling this an instrument, actually? Hmm. I heard, I, I heard it, it sound, seems more like a composition, but uh, what's the instrument? The instrument, well, I'm working with Arduino Wireless. Okay, but yeah. you haven't developed it yet. No, 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 it's the prototype. First of all, I wanted to check if they were able to move with this sound and how they move. For example, now I'm thinking that with Arduino it's very risky because they are always in the floor and they can break it easily. <laughs> that I didn't thought of this before. I was thinking that they're gonna go to the floor sometimes, but not jumping to the floor directly. But there wouldn't be the function of Arduino? What? I would be like, you just sense the movement? Yeah, yeah um, I was thinking to connect the speed of the movement and the position of the of the Arduino in the here and, in, and here. So why not tracking with the camera? Yeah, I was thinking too to tracking in the camera, but that's personal. Yeah, you can also use accelerometer. Yeah, that's true. Maybe there are accelerometers that send the information on wireless to an Arduino that can be outside of the state. You have to develop something that. Uh, that won't break under the full movement of yeah, yeah, yeah. dancers. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's what I'm worried about now. Because, yeah, when I try it by my own, yeah, I go to the floor, but it was more about arms movement, mm -hmm. but not really body movement, and they were using a lot of them body movement. For example, they were using a lot of this part that I didn't thought to use, and maybe gonna be um, good for me to try to understand how this moves and how I can connect it to the music. And um, no, not technically sure. What, what, what were the instructions you gave them? That they're gonna have imagination. No instructions for now. Ah, for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they have to react to the different sound. How they? How they didn't know about. No, they didn't listen it before the sound. They were just improvising through these sounds. Um, did you feel? Did you hear a lot of contrast in the music? I heard a lot of frequency changes yes. for me. Like in the sense that, we, like when you have the high pitch sounds, it wasn't that we like that sound. Just creates a personal feeling for the yeah. the, the person, and I connect frequencies so much with. It's, it's, it's curious because maybe it was because of the three indi individual say experiences that I didn't feel so much contrast in the dance as well as in the music. I didn't feel it, but maybe if I would have looked only one of you, then I would find the contrast also in the movement. But <coughs> looking at the whole thing. I, the music to me was changing much more than the dance. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's true, we, we move kind of the same in different frequencies because it's like maybe the sound is different, but what it gives to the body it's kind of the same quality. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, yeah, I also felt like I was doing kind of the same in different sounds. So but what was the clear difference, for instance, if there was pulse, clear pulse, and there was the, 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 the pulse? Yeah. 
when it was more about the static sounds, they started to move much slower. So I think they did react something, but there's something else. But I didn't know this, because now you told me this. Yeah, I forget it before. When I was just watching it, I thought they, they react always directly. Dance and music, and you can also imagine that you work with the memory of the music, so that it's not coinciding, so that you, know, you, you keep on doing something, yeah. although maybe the music, but that's probably different when it's directly when, yeah. they, when they produce the music. And yeah, this is why what I wanted that the dancers produce the music. You, will, you will lose that word. Yeah. And yeah. there is also something to think about. Um, yeah. For application, though, if physically, if we had this contraption and it would work, not only would you have a second reaction to the initial sound you create, but then it's a, it's a cyclical in a yeah. sense, like because you then have control in the relationship between the music and your movement, and you develop this control, and eventually you'll be able to be aware. Of what sounds you want to create. And it's also thinkable that it's probably technically very complicated that you influence each other. Yeah, actually it was my first idea to do this and I was talking with Joel Ryan, the teacher. He told me that two Italian guys are trying to develop one kind of similar connection between two, but it's so difficult because at the beginning I was thinking to do it in GPS, but it's not efficient enough for detecting this movement. And yeah, now I'm thinking to do it in camera, but I'm not sure and also program this could be really difficult. And also what I think, uh, I, I saw that you were more able, well, he's more in the urban or not academic stuff, was more able to stop or to do silence and you were more academic, you were always moving. I mean, you didn't stop and he, when he didn't find something, he was stopping the music totally. This is also something that I have to think about. And, uh, and if, 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 if there was not clear connection between three of them, why I mean all, all of them here and not what Yeah, because one? they are totally with different, not totally, but they are from different aesthetics of the dance. Yeah, but then I, I, I could follow it either one or, or the another. Yeah, this is why I recorded. Okay. Because <laughs> for me... Why not to like three different sections for you, one after another? That's what That's I thought was going to yeah. happen. <laughs> but, yeah, but I would like to see that actually. I, mean, I don't know if you have time, or if you want. Oh, if you want to do it now, but do it. Yeah. Do it part, 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 like those minutes, those minutes. Yeah, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Something like this, sure. Do we have time? Yeah, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes is fine. Okay. Quickly, sure. Then the audience have some part of the music that you feel like. Yeah, the same piece. Yeah, so you can just yeah. restart Yeah, yeah. So but then, then maybe I can try to find them more. No, the piece is two minutes, so you do two minutes. Yeah. And jump in the mix. So that is difficult because you're just watching. To no, but now when you yeah. do one by one, no, no. you can see, ah, he's doing that, and I'm going to do that. That's you can do. Yeah, okay, okay. And then watch them Yeah. <laughs> we can, we can. Unless they do different parts of the music. Yeah, and yeah. then, yeah, then it's not the a feeling. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Maybe I can do the last part that was this kind of... No, but we can do two, two, two. Uh, the two other ones are outside. Yes, okay. To go outside and uh, in two minutes you get called in. Who wants to start? Okay, selection. <laughs> uh, two first minutes. Yeah, the two first Tell me when you're ready. Well, I mean, it's possible to do the two last minutes. Yes. <coughs>
one more? Mm, it's a strange East thing. <laughs> I mean, it's just to find maybe before this egg or for commodity. I don't know. It's, oh, yeah. it's not because you think this machine is there. No, no. Hip hop is a. It's a sign, it's a gang sign. It means east or west side. <laughs> <laughs> of the states. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Very far away. Well, this is always east side. I think so. I think hip hop is meaningful. Uh, oh, okay. Ready?
again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would like to ask different. you guys something. If you, do, if oh. you don't want to say anything before. No, I observed that with, with a different approach to the one, for example, I was more trying to really feel what the music gave. And it was more static and minimal. But then I think they use more like the, um, the environment that the music or the sound create. So they, they could move much more than I did. So we have, I don't know, to decide. Yeah. Um, no, actually, when I tried it by myself, I was more close to his, more, much more simple, <laughs> but more close to your approach. For example, at the end, she did just the, the end part. She was really static. He was not moving so much. Wow. Yeah, just the end, the end, the end. And you were totally shaking. And actually, when I tried it, I was shaking too. And, um, yeah. Um, it was funny to watch Alex after myself um, because I felt like directional wise and space wise, use of space, we used a little bit the same and it's interesting because we really got the same kind of feel of space in, in the sense that something is pushing us to somewhere and this I think I'm sure it was the wind factor, like the, the concept of the wind factor and the sound of which generates universally, in a general sense, universally feels of wind and being <coughs> manipulated in a general sense. So, Actually, a further question. Do you think that this change of physicality, because you were doing really physical and she was more static, can be a gender? Thing, like the way that the genders. <laughs> I was wrote. thinking no, no. exactly the same thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a question. No. Mm, doesn't, gender doesn't have anything to do no. with No, I mean, no, no. because different way to. Un no? okay. Why no, are you it's so just sure? The way because after seeing them, I could do more or less what they did, more like active. Thing. But you didn't. No, you I didn't. didn't. Yeah, because that's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I don't know it's but. Because of the approach, I was, I was listening to the sound in a different way, like. I was waiting to the sound to make me move. They were using the atmosphere, so yeah. like the wind. That I was more. If doesn't sound, if I don't hear anything, I will not move. So that sound doesn't make me mm, go crazy in space, like yes, them. But why are you sure that it's not a gender no. thing? Maybe. Because <laughs> I can also go crazy. Of like, course, you, know. you can. You yeah. do. I think <laughs> it, it might be not specific. It's a personal interpretation. Yeah. yeah I think it's and it's how you approach it, also. Mm -hmm. I mean, the biggest thing is the approach. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Um, because now yeah, you told me you noticed three different approaches. Uh, like in my experience, I, I didn't notice that so much, right? because I'm not used to see dancers improvising. So uh, maybe my, my criteria of seeing the, the, the differences is it might be a bit different. And I found something very actually similar in both of in all of you, which was the intensity. Like uh, all of you, and it's not a critique or anything, it's just a fact. Uh, I felt all of you being extremely eager to do a lot, and you all ended up very tired. So I wonder if I wonder how you relate with this, and in the sense like, if um, do you think how how do you relate with the effort um, oh. part of 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 the performer? Like, do you think like you the the body is your is your uh, mean to express yourself? So you think it's for you is a good point to end up tired or? Uh, well. Or, or, or why being so, mm, there was a lot of movement going on all the time. It was very intense. Like I, yeah. And in all of you, I felt the same level of intensity. And I wonder how you deal with this. And also in the previous one, uh, it was very how, intense all the time. How we deal with, with effort. effort. Like, uh, how important is exo uh, physical exhaustion? Yeah. yeah. Mm, it's mean, not important. Yeah. It's not the goal is not to be exhausted. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, there is the thing that then still stay a lot of representation and then when you know that you have two minutes you try to, well I try to give the maximum I can when you know that you have one hour performance then you build it up slowly and why? And but the maximum, uh, well, well, why, why is the, the physical effort, or well, why is this uh, uh, quantity of moving such an important parameter? Mm. Well, we don't count like this, I think we just go on in our cell lab like say that we regulate ourselves how much energy we have left for how much minutes we have. Mm. So 
it's not we we go thinking okay how much time I will end on you know, this part but it's more we use the energy we have in the moment to, to keep but on then going. more energy and more expression or but no. expression and energy doesn't go together it's really in the moment and you decide each moment how, what energy you have and if you're in a flow of energy and, it's, and it tends to increase, increase, increase. Then you, then you, you do a certain point, realize, whoa, I can't. And, and then you, you take a moment for yourself. But it's always in the moment. It's not like, okay, I can, I can put more energy into it. Yeah, we can do the same thing with more or less energy. Maybe you can have notice, but it's also the, the just the impulse in the body that we use. Sometimes it seems like we're doing a lot of effort, but it's just something that spins itself. Yeah. Yeah. Without intent, maybe. Yeah, because if, if, I, if I related this to music, but maybe I'm totally wrong, I look at it from a wrong perspective, I don't know. I would, I would imagine that I've just seen three performers, one after another, all of them playing fortissimo, always, like super yeah. loud all the time. And it's interesting because uh, all, all of you did the same. So I wonder, maybe it was the music making you, giving you these, these feelings? Maybe, maybe it was the music at the end. Yeah, I guess that it's because... With, with bass frequencies, mm. for me, it's like an instigation for slow, minimal movement. Mm. So yeah, Actually, would, yeah, there's like, I have clear instigations for sure of what, and then if I choose to go ex, uh, eccentric, then I'm contrasting the music, music. I could have chosen to maybe do it more minimal, but then contrast what I, the music, I would think the music would make me do. But that wasn't the point of the experiment, right? Then, I don't know. No, I mean, if you're contrasting the movement, there's no validity, there's no way to say to connect the two. Right. Well, why not? The contrast is also a way to connect. But yeah, but you have to it, becomes more it. it becomes more blurry. Yeah, but, but yeah no, no, I guess. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's the reverse. Eh? What you do is producing the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah no, so that's why this is a bit weird. Yeah, yeah well, actually, I was trying to yeah, they react. Yeah. yeah, but in the end, it's about something else. Yeah. And so, so you can choose. To be minimal, and then it will have consequences for you. Mm. Yeah. Also, what I can see is that in the half of the song, I use a random generator through different frequencies, and at that moment, I was expecting that they gonna move fast and really physically, also in the really high frequencies. And was the moment that they were more quiet or moving less, and in the wind, where when I tried it by my own, was more. Big movements, but slow and changing where, when they were more physical. That was kind of curious for me that it's totally the opposite approach to the... And how about space? The yeah, space you use. That's the, you can watch dance as a term of effort, but you can also see it through shape also, and uh, body parts that are involved in dance and through space also. But maybe effort is the easiest one, because that's something you see on the performer, right? And you can sense it because you have experienced it for before. But moving through space, well, also, I guess we all move pretty much a lot. Because, yeah, we're, we're used to, to take it. I don't really refer to the. Is it part of, of what you're expected to do with the word in the academy? You have to use all the space. Well, I think it's the context for sure. Yeah. Yes. Because if we were doing this in the. Uh, uh, in our studios, it would be fairly like similar. It would be fairly similar because we aren't used to putting this kind of uh, dance in this experimental environment with more to think about, more to analyze, more to to see, to think. And so for us, I mean, it's how much responsibility for the dancer. I mean, I'm not sure yet. That's one thing I I, I didn't know. I didn't know how much I needed to do. To react to the music, I didn't know how much space to use, I didn't know anything. So all of it was innate. It was whatever I felt like doing. Yeah. But mainly we're asked to feel the space frequency, which is like a choice, like, yeah, yeah which is purely subjective. And that's mm -hmm. I have a question. How, how often have you done something like this before? In in or yeah, yeah um, improvisational dance to a soundtrack that you haven't heard before? Well, quite, uh, quite a lot, actually. Yeah. Like yeah. that? Not like this. <laughs> Not with electronic music. Yeah. More with instruments. Okay. Well, we are used to react just with the music we have, or without. Or, you know, it's kind of thing we are used to do. To create something from patterns. 
and I think we all have different experiences before our start of school, academia, that we all went to code arts. And I think there is some unification for going to an academy because you do learn some things the same. But what's interesting is that in the moment you choose to make an artistic choice, things become very different. So it's it's it deals with like no matter what your training is, you have bigger influences, really innate influences with each person. So it's almost like, uh, like it, for me, me and him flowing like the wind, I did not expect that at all. I thought it would be completely different. It was quite it, quite yeah, but it was quite similar. So for me, that's very interesting because we both have this innate. Yeah. Actually, they are the totally thinking the opposite because he's the more urban guy. And yeah. Or, yeah, and he's the more classical or more academic guy, and they were doing the same. And it's also good training. Yeah. Yeah. We were, yeah, that's well, the influence of institution on the body. We all fit. I think we would have done the same thing before Koro No, mm -hmm. like in really different. Like the experience would be nice to take three people that never dance together. Yeah. So if yeah. you really want to just Yeah, yeah, but it was impossible yeah, no, no. for me. <laughs> of course. I mean, no, but just <coughs> when, I don't know, yeah, like a tango dancer, someone that went to an institution like us, and someone yeah, and that doesn't like us. I wanted to try with uh, one volunteer, but anyone. But I think this experiment with more controlled variables would be much more yeah. interesting. So, yeah, I think if you had very, very strict controlled variables of what we are and are not allowed to do, then you can very clearly analyze what our reactions are, what movement is, okay. mm -hmm. and and in that basis, it's less artistic choice and more innate reaction or how we react. Okay. For the next one. So, so fair, no. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for. Yeah.